She's gone. Is she? Oh, oh, all right then. Everybody set up the cameras, let's get rolling. Hello everybody, my name's Deuterion the Sentient Mattress, for those of you who don't know, and with a little help from Lena, I've taken over the Work Show set for a special little video, breaking down all the various lore snippets that Work has dropped across the video she's uploaded to her channel. You know, for those who weren't paying attention, or for those who are new to the channel and are wondering what on earth is going on. Some of these aforementioned snippets are more important than others, so I'm not going to go over every single bit of unimportant lore here. The purpose of this video is to summarise the lore for newcomers, as well as to refresh the memories of those who have also seen the previous videos. But in Enough of this nonsense, let's get started already. The video in which the narrative actually started properly is Top 7 Continents Ranked. In that video, Work describes an Earth quite different to the one you're familiar with. This is an Earth in which Santa Claus rules over Antarctica, detailed as the spine of the Earth. What this means is that secretly Antarctica is actually the largest continent on the planet. This will become more important later. The narrative continues in Weddings of an Unusual Nature, in which Work says that she was born outside of space and time. Or more specifically, she was born in the Crossroads, which again will be discussed further later. There's going to be a lot of this. The most important lore drop came next, however. The 100 subscribers special Q&A has a picture of Wurg as a baby. Oh my god, it's baby! It's a baby Wurg! <sighs> okay. This is immediately followed by a picture of Wurg looking... different. To usual. The first episode of The Wurg Show, titled Interviewing Streamers and Dipping Burgers in Soda, uh, it exists. Nothing too major happens other than that work has been set up by some unknown producer to make a late night talk show, the set of which you may have noticed I am now hijacking. A brief guide to the multiverse had a somewhat similar purpose to this video, albeit with work herself narrating it. This one is rather dense with information, so I'd recommend just watching that one. It goes over the four remaining universes, the in, the up, the down, and the out. It's also revealed that there used to be more, but someone known as the Crusher of Reality has been destroying the multiverse. Wurg admits to accidentally assisting in this, but doesn't go into any detail. In Becoming the World's Greatest Fighter, Wurg discusses how she's being pursued by the Seekers. She says that she is an abomination in their eyes, but that she wants to try and atone for her mistakes. She also comes to the conclusion that true strength comes from love and compassion. In interviews and comments galore, Wurg interviews the world's first talking fruit. Going simply by the name Cantaloupe, he and Wurg get off on a rather bad start at first, but he ends up staying with her anyway from this point on. Another thing that it's somewhat important to know is that in the shorts, and in some of the videos, there is a recurring character known simply as the Surfer Bro. He has three priorities, which are in order from least to most important, hot babes, sick waves, and human rights. Probably the most lore-heavy video of them all is The Siege of the North Pole. This is more or less the finale of the first arc. Work comes to the conclusion that Santa is allied with the Crusher of Reality, so she goes on an adventure to stop him. It's revealed that she's been recording her content from within a Seeker spaceship from the very start. Her father, Prince Sparklefist, is brought up as well. He's one of the strongest Seekers in the multiverse and has the power to manifest sparkly energy to increase his power. She then has a massive falling out with Cantaloupe, who abandons her to go to a party of various content creators. A party which I slept through and missed as a result. Eventually, Wurg gets to duking it out with Santa and initially is outmatched. Santa boldly states that the Crusher cannot be stopped at all. They are interrupted by the host of the party, Stubbs, arriving to assist in the battle. Santa reveals to Stubbs that Wurg actually assisted the Crusher by severely weakening the barriers between realities. In their weakened state, it would be very easy for the Crusher to destroy all four of the aforementioned universes at once. He elaborates that she did this by stealing her father's spaceship and ricocheting through the multiverse, all in an attempt to get to the inn and meet humans. Despite this revelation, Stubbs reiterates that she still believes in Wurg and still cares about her regardless of that. With Stubbs' support, Wurg is hit with a surge of power. She focuses her energy into a blast which kills Santa. She and Cantaloupe then make up at the party. The video closes out with Santa's disembodied voice speaking to a strange, faceless figure named Draugos. Draugos mentions some kind of a deal, and the video ends with Santa screaming in terror. And with that, we move on to the next arc of the story, and the end of this video. If any of this interests you, I'd recommend checking out the videos that were named. Please feel free to like and comment, and to check out the various social media links in the description. Ah, <sighs> that's that. Now where's that 50 quid you promised me? What? There is no 50 quid? Oh, you bastard. I came here and did this whole video on the pretense that I would be given 50 quid. Now I want my 50 bloody quid! 